This is the ASUS ZenBook Flip UX 360CA. It's a seriously thin and light 13 inch touchscreen laptop which has been going to yoga class. You can flip it right round all the way into a tablet mode if you want to use it like that. Now until recently ASUS's fancy convertible laptops have been smaller and relatively budget like the Transformer series. The UX 360 CA here though takes what's best about the successful UX 305 and newer 310 series with the beautiful slim and light brushed aluminium body and it's not actually ridiculously expensive. This model costs around £750 or $750. We definitely do get a bit of a raw deal here in the UK. But this one has, as you can see, a 13.3 inch full HD IPS touchscreen display. It's got a fanless Core M3 Scarlett processor inside, eight gigabytes of RAM, 128 gigabyte SSD inside, 720p HD webcam, and a surprisingly broad range of ports, including the latest USB Type-C. There are a few different versions versions of the ZenBook Flip with 256 and 512 gigabyte storage options, M3, M5 or M7 processors and a higher res 3200 by 1800 display option but naturally you will pay more for these specs. So that's what's on the inside but what about the outside? Well I'm sure you'll agree the ZenBook Flip here is a magnificent looking machine. It's super thin and light. The HP Spectre 13 and Dell XPS 13 laptops are a touch lighter. Uh, but the 360 Flip here weighs about the same as a MacBook Air at a little over 1.3 kilograms or just under 3 pounds. It's also just 0.5 inches thick or 13.9 millimeters and it's noticeably thinner than the newer ZenBook UX310. So it's extremely portable and easy to use on trains and planes. Now I have the black version of the UX360 here but it's also available in gold and the aluminium casing gives the ZenBook a premium look and feel and the Suits' signature circular finish is just as eye-catching as ever. The hinge isn't the best though, anything more than a bit of a light touch is enough to make the uh, screen wobble and actually if you push it a little bit more than just a light touch it sort of falls back a bit as well. It's not too bad and actually not nearly as bad as the Acer Spin 7 laptop which I saw at this year's EFA Tech Show uh, where I a light breeze would make it uh, wobble, but the ZenBook hinge isn't, it's still, you know, leaves a little bit to be desired. The keyboard can be depressed with a little bit of force in the middle of the keyboard, and if you decide to use the laptop in tablet mode, the screen does flex a little bit. So on the whole, I think build quality is good, but it's not perfect, and there are just a couple of problems. As for ports, you get one of the latest USB Type-C connectors, two standard USB 3s, a mini HDMI port, SD card reader, microphone and headphone combo, as well as a power port. The Flip also features a dual band 802.11ac Wi-Fi card and Bluetooth 4.1, so fast Wi-Fi and pretty much every port you'll ever need. Now what about the keyboard and trackpad? Well the first thing you'll probably notice on the chiclet style keyboard is that it isn't backlit which is a bit of a shame and actually detracts I think a little bit from the overall premium experience you get or at least want with the UX360 but it certainly isn't a deal breaker. For a laptop this thin though the keyboard itself is actually pretty good. There's a solid amount of travel, the keys don't feel too spongy and overall it's a very pleasant typing experience. It's not as good as the MacBook Pro or Dell XPS 13 for, in terms of the keyboard for example but it's pretty close. The trackpad is also a joy to use, it's got a big smooth finish and is very responsive in Windows 10. Of course the other input aside from the trackpad is the touch screen. It felt responsive enough to me, I didn't have any problems with it tapping, swiping and doing multi-touch gestures like zooming in and out which I found surprisingly useful. More often than I thought I'd actually tap something on the screen rather than move the cursor to it on the trackpad. Although I'm not sure as I said earlier I'd ever really bother using it in full tablet mode flipping it around 360 uh, with the keyboard behind it just feels a little bit weird as I say. But the display itself is a bit of a mixed bag actually. On the one hand the full HD the IPS panel looks great, it's got vibrant colours and good contrast, but it is glossy, very glossy. And not only do fingerprints show up on it quite easily, it's not particularly bright either at about 300 CDM. It's perfectly fine for indoor use but you'll struggle on a bright day and that glossy screen basically reflects everything, uh, whether you're indoors, outside, whatever it may be. But despite this, if you keep a microfiber cloth to hand or you just don't use a touchscreen as often and perhaps you avoid using it outside in the midday sun, the screen is still pretty good. Now as for performance, inside this model you've got the Intel Core M3 with HD 515 integrated graphics. Now that certainly isn't the most powerful processor out there, but as I'm sure most of you guys know, what makes the biggest difference to how fast a laptop feels from boot times to opening programs is the solid state drive which this does have. So the UX360 actually feels pretty responsive to use despite the ultra low power processor. 
Even though the M36Y30 processor has a base clock speed of just 0.9 gigahertz, it's still plenty fast enough for office work, web browsing, and watching HD videos and movies. Pretty much everything you do on a ultra portable laptop like this. It will struggle to play games though, and I wouldn't recommend any sort of serious photo or video editing on it. But the M3 actually, I think, is better than the M5 or M7 processor in terms of price or performance, and also the higher end models tend to throttle more. So the M3 is actually still pretty decent and more than capable for what most people will be using the laptop for. But using the low power M3 does mean the UX360 here doesn't need any fans, so it's basically silent and never actually gets particularly warm either, which is surprising. Another surprise is how good the speakers are actually. Pushing the volume right up does make them sound a little bit weak and distorted, but at normal volume, they're actually quite good, especially if the laptop's on a solid surface like this wooden desk here, as the speakers face down there right beneath uh, the front of the laptop and therefore can reverb and give you the impression of deeper bass. Now, what about battery life? Well, Asus claim you can get 12 hours out of the UX360 here, but in my experience, the combination of the sensible 1080p resolution display, ultra low power M3 processor, and reasonably big 54 watt hours three cell battery, I got around seven to eight hours of real world use out of it, keeping brightness at 50%, which isn't best in class. The Dell XPS 13, as I say, is a little bit better, but it's still very good and will give you uh, enough juice for a full working day. So the big question, should you buy the UX360 CA Flip? Well, it's got a lot of competition from 2-in-1s and, and convertibles like the Acer Spin 7, the HP Envy X360, Yoga 700, and even the Surface Book Pro. The biggest issue I have with this is the overly glossy screen and slightly weak hinge, but they are more minor annoyances than full-blown deal breakers. So despite a couple of flaws, I think the Flip here is a pretty damn good laptop, and I think the £750 or $750 asking price is pretty reasonable too. Now, while I'm sure you'll agree no one really needs a convertible or flippy hybrid laptop, it is quite a cool feature to have and makes what is otherwise a bit of a standard clamshell laptop just a bit more exciting, a bit more fun to use, especially with that touchscreen. And as you can see, it's super thin and light. It's quite cool that you can use it in tablet mode, even if I'm not sure I ever would. The uh, SSD inside is really fast, which makes it feel responsive to use. The M3 processor is ultra low power, therefore it's completely silent, but also capable enough to run pretty much anything you'd want to on a laptop like this. If you want to know more or even buy the ZenBook UX360 CA Flip, check out my links in the description below. And also let me know what you think of the laptop, as well as convertible or hybrid laptops generally in the comments. If you enjoyed this review, please do like, share, and subscribe. Thank you very much for watching, guys. And I'll see you next time right here on The Tech Chat.